Hello and welcome. It is the uh, 13th of May 2019. Yet another, another Bitcoin video. I guess when the action is hot, the videos will become more active. It really does make sense for that to be the case. This green line in here, that's near 8,000. Bitcoin first crossed above that level. November 19th, 2017. And a little under a month later, would reach what is the current pinnacle on December the 17th, 19,666. Phenomenal move. Phenomenal move. Since then, price action hit that level. Found support in it February, pierced below it, supported it again, and hung around with it a bit. And now this is back to June. So we're at levels May of 2018 numbers at this point. And if we get about, if we get getting to 90, getting to pierce below 10,000 would take us to early May levels. Getting to 10,000 would take us to levels last seen in March. The last time, and of last year, of course. Last time Bitcoin has been five digits, and there hasn't been many days overall where it has, is March of 2018. For it resisted this current level in here. Now, notice how beautiful of a move and how large of a move this was, and how quick it happened to go from around 5,000, 6,000 all the way up to about 84. Well, our current move is even more grander than that. Inverted head and shoulders pattern did its thing, but it didn't do anything more after that. And now we got the 6342 line, which was not resistance. Not here, nope. 15.82%. This is up. Let's take a look at this on all of the time frames quickly again leaving the four hour here on the eight hour time stamp this morning and doing its thing not resisting this point and having a good move thus there after that single hour term leaving it at seven o'clock in the morning consistently having a nice a large such a large move that as it corrected through time for five periods, it was still noticeably well above where the 18 average of highs was for that minute, that hour. And uh, and then last hour, breaking through. How much time you got left? 20 minutes. 21 minutes. So a little bit of a pause hour. That's magnificent things to see. 15 minute. This level of resistance. And when we look at how the story of technical analysis works, we have key levels. We have this one here, which surges by. You have the 61.8, which you noticed in here. I mean, there's no line in here, but 61.8 is basically right in here. That it was supporting it more than resisting in this area. That was a huge indication that the market should have a good gain. And we're talking about high is not seen in a good year that it's breaking in here and what has been a phenomenal run for days so to think a phenomenal move can occur yeah, yeah I'd say so but I really want to focus on short-term analysis in here because not often I can talk about the one which we'll get to in a bit but as we can see within this level of resistance how it takes it out noticeable move and it has been correcting through time efficiently ever since. It has had a few periods recently dipping below the 18 lows. Has yet to get above the highs since that point. But still holding in there and technically has... let me just move this line so it's right at that high. Okay, technically it did come back to where it came from, but barely, and that's strong in itself. Is there anything going on in the one? For this video, I'm going to pause the tape, diddly around here and there, because maybe, maybe so. The way I look at it is this. It's looking pretty decent. If it pierces below, which it's doing right now, 
I mean, there's a large gap space from here to this low. So to me, I think if it can hold and stay above 80.27, let me just put a line in there just because that's one of the, even 80, even 80, right around that low, then that is super duper strong. If it does happen to reach this closer to this line, and then it's going to be a very interesting challenge as it comes back to the 18 high, 18 if, of course, you do get a bounce from this general area. But getting above this 18 average most certainly is a very, very strong situation. So I'm going to pause the tape until something nice happens. And now we have price action make an attempt with five seconds left in this particular minute above the 18 average of highs. It will close above it. And how well it's going to hold and stay above it? Well, that's now time is going to tell for such an event. We're having a small correction right now, 22 seconds to go. And as we finish off this minute, we will close a little below the 18 average of highs. Meanwhile, during this period, we re-strengthen the level of resistance at the uh, very close to 8100 barrier. We're going to start off the first trade of this particular minute with a buy. And uh, now in towards the last three minute congestion area, which is a pierce below this particular open buy. And 34 seconds to go in the minute. And we'll end in a pause moment or a pause period. As it just hung around in these little area here, staying in with the 18 average of highs. Little activity in the first 20 plus seconds of this current one. And as we tick down to the end of this minute, it's another pause one. We're right at this upper end, more strengthening towards this. Uh, 80, 90 or so area, it's even bigger at 8103. I mean, that's short term numbers when we're talking about it from this point of view, but it looks like we have the possibility it could be breaking out from this 18 average of highs, and we know doing that, this could be a fantastic play. There we see. There we see. I'm not pausing this minute, but it's had the move that technically pierced above this high, pretty much a matching one. After all, it was a little bit of a weak move before, now it's a little bit of a stronger one. It had its pull back within its minute, came back to the 18 lows, has now, now starting to rally higher with 17 seconds to play. Uh, line change on uh, this particular thing, this team's bringing out the third line. I'm kidding about that, but the Boston Bruins right now in good shape to win the Stanley Cup, leading the Carolina Hurricanes. Two games to zero. Okay, finishing this a very strong period. As you have that breakout, it just hangs in there with the 18 average of highs, hanging in there within this level of two-hit period resistance in here. And uh, I, I like the probability as this volume is okay in comparison. I'm using the wrong exchange probably within Bitstamp. I'm probably better off using either Bitfinex or Coinbase. Another reason why I want to use this one is because I can just play around with this. I can say, okay, draw a whole bunch of stuff like that. And uh, then I can just clear the screen afterwards. I don't like to do that on the Coinbase one because, well, I put lines in months and months ago that have worked out to be interesting as we move forward. And today's, of course, one of those big days on the forward movement. 18, 17 seconds left. We've basically been seeing a full minute of the pausing. That, that This is a very strong situation. So as a day trader, maybe like, okay, I'm going to buy some right now at 8,100. 8, uh, maybe I'm going to set a stop loss, uh, and let's just put this uh, line in here because it did hold it pretty good. Uh, and uh, let's just see what happens. You put a stop loss maybe underneath this low in here and uh, see what happens. And I don't usually play this game, and I'm not doing it right now in real life this way. But I don't have any US dollar of any vehicle to do it with. But I probably have a little bit lower of one. I think if it's going to pierce, there's a better chance it could pierce a little bit here. But productive a period ending, 14 seconds to go. Showing, continuing to still, well, it was showing strength at the 18 highs. Now it's just showing more of a correctionary move as we're going to close near the 18 average of lows. Whenever you have a situation where you barely break through this level of resistance from leaving, 
and it doesn't follow through correct support, then that's a failed break it, and you can expect a fast move lower, and that's why I don't like the stop loss game because you'd probably get hit right here. But if this holds, this area breaks out, it's going to be pretty cool. And the midway point of this minute is showing uh, some test of this uh, low, barely piercing below it at this point, but at the uh, big test level, this will be enough to start to make the 18 average of lows go flat. Uh, for it to continue to remain flat, it's going to have to have the next minute come down to uh, uh, the price area of about 80, uh, well, near this 18 average of lows. It's still got nine seconds where it still could break it for this period, but a close uh, near that level seems to be in order. As we start a new one, looking to possible breakdown, making lows not seen, and uh, a good uh, nine minutes. Now a retest of this uh, previous low, like a double top formation, but it's got to break the neckline. And if it does so, if it breaks through this line, it's probably going to break further. Probably going to at least go down to the 79.95 mark. But uh, it's not a higher low. It's a matching low at best. It's either a matching low or it's a lower low. There we go. So now your stop loss, oh, does it hit, does it hit, does it hit? And would it be a failing stop loss? I'm not good at it. Maybe you could say, oh, that was just a bad stop loss because of this reason. Maybe. If he bounced from here, it's going to be pretty darn near good, though. There, boom, I think I'd be stopped out. Uh, let's just assume 80, 31, 67. Well, there we are for sure. 80, 80, 30. It goes to, okay, near, near. Your bet loses. Okay. That happens. Let's see. Uh, let me just remove this line because I don't need it anymore. Uh, this market might be breaking down. I mean, this is going to make a lot of long-term investors not give a shit. Oh, well. Okay, anyway, it's bouncing from this level. I hope it goes way up because... Just because it's good commentary. But we are ending it with a decent-sized move. This is like half a percent. I'll make that 0.65, two-thirds. We might lose a percent this minute. Not, not likely one second left. No, we didn't. But still, this is a close. The market has not had since 1820. It has. This is 33 minute closing lows. Levels not seen in over. Well, well, since this point in here, but levels not seen in 23 minutes. That's. I mean, this is a scary situation. I mean, the possibility. If if we resist this 18 in any form on this rally from here. And I wouldn't be surprised if it rallies in here. But if we resist this, we got the 18 between the 80, 60, and now starting to decline at 80, 82. I mean, this line might not mean much at all. It, it's breaking through it. Don't be surprised if we even see like 79 low. And in reality, that's not bad for day trading possibilities because that's like, 120 basis points. That's like one and a half percent. I mean, stock market like a Dow. Having a one and a half percent intraday move is hard, and rare. We're talking just a short blimp of a move within the day, as I'm talking about the one minute time frame. So here we are correcting near this 18, 36 seconds to play. And with a dysfunctional look, I'm going to call this a pause period. Because we had, after this big accelerated down move of losing two-thirds of a percent, this one technically gained better than 0.51%. That it kind of should be a green candle back to where it came from in here. And it just didn't really do much. But now, what's happened is it's got the resisting close to the 18. So it's a, it's a wild play now. To just have more decent red moves, whether it be now, next period, or over a case of maybe six to eight, of just decline. We can see it's had a decent red move already, half a percent, and it's at a it's at a vol uh, it's at a, a really difficult situation because the more you test these levels of uh, constant movement or uh, re retest more and more support and resistance, this case support, more likely it is that you take it out. 18 seconds to play. And we'll just skip 10 of it, which I did already. And we're going to end this period still below the 18.
and sellers right now are showing to start control of this market in this time frame. It really, really just a time frame. They don't have any control other than the one. But we are now at lows. Breaking this, we're, we're going to be at lows not seen in 35 minutes. And breaking that, we could be at lows not seen in a long, long, long time. There we have it. This is a scary close. And look at this, the bear market capitulation. It's not capitulation by any means. I mean, we need to see a lot more. But now we're at lows not seen. And this is a long time, about 100 minutes. And it could even be worse than that. Look at this, look at this continuation move. Last minute down two-thirds of a percent. This minute's down a half a percent. Make it more. Look at this, look at the decent size move. This is now 0.68, higher than that 7.8. Levels not seen. A significant leg, leg, noticeable leg lower. This minute could be like a, way down here even at the end. Still 15 seconds to play. 78.90. We haven't, this is going to be closing lows. I mean, we haven't closed anywhere near this area. And, well, this is the lowest close since a long time close to 120 minutes. So now it's has to the 18. I mean, you need a long, large move. You need a large move. It's still got wild volatility. So having big green and red candles up this minute to be expected. And if you get any of this type of pause stuff, well, that's... That's obviously going to happen. But here we have a decent-sized green candle up 0.8% just this minute. It's right now resisted a little bit where it came from. You can see it's came up. It's pulled back a little bit within it. Still doing it. A little bit of a pullback. And now it's either going to resist this level where it came from. And if we start to see weakness from it, we have no 18 to help us here, but that's fine. But if we see any... We, which we're starting to do, a little bit of weakness along here. We've already resisted this level. That means if it comes back down to 78.88, we are nowhere near, anywhere near as oversold as we were 94 seconds ago. By no means. And really, it wasn't 94 seconds ago. It was like 78 seconds ago. But still, close enough. 34 seconds to play. 22 seconds to play. And it's had a move down towards here. We're seeing a little bit of symmetricalness, an inside move, because it had a good high and a pretty decent low last time, and it is staying within it. And it's also closing right now, or at least the current price action is noticeably in the middle of this high and this low. So it becomes a very interesting, curious situation, because getting it above here gives us the possibility of a short-term fail breakdown. Of course, everything I'm talking about here is short-term. But that comes into play. But we've already had this significant break. We've got this in the bear market territory. That any type of weakness in here, again, we could see moves, maybe even a percent down in one minute, given how high our volatility is. And we complete this minute with a little bit of a pause-ish, a little bit of declining motion. We're starting off... Uh, falling for the first part of this minute. And as we're at the halfway point, we're at breaking support. Now we're finding a fast move lower. Uh, not much of a surprise. I got no choice but to scroll back. More time frames or use the five minute. I'm not going to do that. That's too long term for me on this video at least. 78.54. Now we're starting to get capitulation here. And once again, long term investors don't give a shit about that. But whatever. We are in jeopardy of going to levels not seen in over almost 200 periods, 200 periods almost, 180. You can translate that to three hours. You can drive miles in that time. You can go through states depending on which states you're at in that time. But the capitulation is real. The market's crashing. 7,800. 
crash. Shorts are getting crushed. I guess my cover would have worked, or my short position would have, our stop loss would have worked. Nowhere near a short. 1% down this minute. This minute, down. Well, it could be a percent. It's right now down 5, 6. A little over a half. We are at levels not seen. Again, in 180 periods. And breaking below that, we're going to be at levels last seen. Uh, I'm doing some math in my head. That's how long it's been. We're talking... 300 minutes, 5 hours. All of the 5 hours gained, but gone this fast. All the hopes and dreams of everybody who played with 16 times leverage, losing everything here because they thought that it was going to go up. And they didn't put that stop loss right. I did it. And now they're getting their margin calls here and they're done. They're finished because of the sick... Sick volatility. This price action is so far from the 18. It's over. I mean, it's going to take minutes, many, many a minutes for this thing to recover. A lot, a lot, a lot of time. A lot of time. You could probably, you probably have enough time to go to that gas station next door. Maybe just scroll, read a bit, a few covers of the magazines, a few pages there. Maybe order a, a sausage or a hot dog or some other sandwich or other st a snack of your choice. Get it heated. Uh, talk with the people before this thing could turn over. It's going to be minutes. It's in a full throttle bear market. The likes of which greater than nobody has ever, greater than that no one has ever seen. So more than zero people have seen before. Uh, it's getting close to the 18 average. Maybe it'll correct it here. But but the sellers are in control of this market. Uh, market is guilty until proven innocent for any of these rallies that come in because of this extremely declining 18 average. In fact, the five-minute time frame might be starting to be in jeopardy. Yep, see, look at that, the five. I, I, I didn't want to focus on it, but it's in jeopardy. The 15... It's it's starting to flatten out and start to uh, possibly, well, it's already established a level of resistance. Single hour term time frame, it's having a support test. And, well, I don't want to go anything on that because the bulls are in control of the other markets. But we're having our support test, a resistance test, rather. That was that former support that you, they usually coincide. I mean, why 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 not? The 18 average of lows on a breakdown will co coincide with its previous support. Just like on the breakout, the 18 average of highs will coincide with previous resistance. But what do we see leaving on this minute with 27 seconds to go? Leaving the 18 average. And the margin calls again with people having 742 times leverage. Of course, that's more than a bit sarcastic. But in reality, playing this game right now at this time with leverage can make you or break you when you get this kind of volatility. And of course, even more so when we talk about coins like Litecoin, Ripple, Ethereum, that probably you could also play with leverage. And I've had people talk to me before, oh, you should play, do that. No, I have never I think ever done leverage, although I traded a few options back in the day, but I mean, I never borrowed any cash to do it. I had funds in my balance to buy the options. It was like bid ask the same sort of way. All right, so we had to move down, but the buyers are bringing it back up. Sellers come back down, 19 seconds to play. And they push it even further. Now, we we gotta we gotta presume it's gonna take out this low. I guess if you want to short, let's do a short position, put a stop right here, because well we know that the uh, well that's too that's too low, noticeably above that high. I could even go in here, but <clears throat> no no no. And technically that's extremely tight. I mean it could come back to where it came from here, but. I gotta think that. Well, let's just put it here above the 
18 average of highs because it's not going to that that's the highest resistance will be and with 20 seconds to play it's it's already it's leaving it this is period number four uh, pretty much of resisting the lows but this one didn't touch it you can see this interim move low high is much lower and the rate of decline has taken a bit of turn the period's over and we start this off with just sudden price decline already down 0.44 percent bear market conditions and it's already made new lows again uh, that stop let's just lower it a little bit because it's like again it's going to take minutes some more but we here we have a capitulation big move breaking support 7722 7710 this is big i i suppose you'd have to start profit taking if you shorted here 7684 what's it down this minute uh, i guess it went up it's already down 1.14% and it's gotten a lot of it back when you look at this intra move minute a low of, I mean, here we go again. What's, what, what's it down here? 1.4%. 1.7%. 1 1.8. In one minute. In one minute. I'm going to have no f choice. And, of course, I'm just going to remove this because how do you not profit take if I shorted there? On the daily term frame, not much harm and foul here. Four hour term time frame barely coming back. One hour term time frame coming towards the 18 average of lows showing signs of a failed breakout. 15 minute term time frame seeing more in depth of that failed breakout. And within this 15 minutes, it's down 4.17%. It seems to be very still active here on the one minute down 2.97%, down three. And then it just it went from down three to down one one point nine four. So there was a one percent move in one play. What and talking about one percent move in one play, one trade, there we see it again. As we start to see some of this extreme volatility. But now I want to talk about real situations of people at this moment of losing their shirts or making a good amount on a short play with leverage. This is truly the case. Now, I have no choice as a trader because I see what's going on, but to peek at what's going on with other markets. But this minute's down 2.75%. I have to see what's going on here in other markets. Bitcoin's still up 9.8%. Litecoin's still up 3 we got a coin down to 950. That's not going to do me anything. That doesn't do me anything. 135, I do probably need to buy some there. I, I don't need to do anything based on these moves here. Uh, but phenomenally large, large moves happens so fast. And when you're extended like this, well, one hour was overextended where it needed. It's barely getting a correction on the four. And it really isn't even doing much of one on the daily it's just coming back to where it came from the previous two days and we can see it's at 75 this is again very very sick volatility to say the least so i guess i made two good play around game trades one for a loss and one for a profit maybe not did i profit at the right price in here i can't remember when my cover was it probably was a few minutes ago probably down here but the size of these moves are vicious and ferocious. I'm going to pause this, take a little break. If, some, if big stuff happens, I won't be in the area, so I'm just going to have to conclude on what happened. But I do want to conclude this video soon, but I uh, want to give it a few minutes. So the, my best strategy is to pause it right now, as it's right now consolidating... Uh, several periods down. It's had a lot of up and down choppy action on the one minute as we can see within these lines. And uh, yeah, so as you see it, it'll be a different price, different time. 
And we remain flat a little bit later, 21 seconds to go on the 1918 timestamp. As price action goes into this 18 uh, band, and I'm going to pause it till it has an attempt to break it. It's not, and it's not quite below it. Now it's at it. Now nah, there's the attempt. There's the attempt. It was a few minutes later, not only a couple. And now we can see the 18 average of lows barely starting to decline. This has obviously been in a continuation down move. We'll see uh, within this minute, but the odds are it's probably uh, not going to be spectacular for a bullish level. And it was okay. wasn't spectacular. But the 18 average of lows is nowhere near going to be declining if it doesn't break below it. So it has held it for that part of support. But we are finishing off this minute with a superior test. After coming to it, it's now at this 18 average, which is declining. But it's a retest of this level, which increases the chances in sticking around in this point and finding higher lows to the a uh, couple minutes ago. And doing such, you can end up taking that level, out, which is a re attempt to revert the trend, reverse it and do into a uh, a bull market because we've been in a major decline, capitulation even. And all that has happened over the last several minutes is the band flattening out. And this minute is concluding with uh, bullish behavior as it's holding and staying within the 18 average of highs. That's really going to make that start to flatten out. And because last minute before, it, uh, clo it, it its lowest point was noticeably above the lows and this one is noticeably higher as well, that's going to start to make the 18 average of lows start to increase. As we can see on that new minute gap, how it had that really good increase there. The 18 average of highs is going to noticeably start to flatten out. As long as the next minute does not, as long as we don't see a decline in the next minute's high is really bad, it's a guarantee that it's, uh, the decline on it is over. And with 11 seconds to go, it has done very well in staying above the 18 average of lows. It's got a close that's going to be near this. The 18 average of highs will be flat next second, in a couple seconds. 18 of lows rising nicely. So now we can see, just as stated, this has got a nice increase to it. Therefore, I'm not going to say we're showing strength at the 18 average of highs because we're in a bear market. But we had all of this congestion time in here for several minutes and we're doing so again. So now, I mean, I really, would really like to see this on the 10 second time frame, but how these last three periods are reacting right now, to me, would show super duper probability odds that we're going to have a monstrous, monstrous move, maybe even come up and break 7,800, which would be over 1%. I mean, I normally like, wow, that, and that's a spectacular move because like 0 0.2, 0 0.15 percent when you're looking at breakouts on the one minute time frame is normal with Bitcoin. Now we're seeing its attempt with 16 seconds to play. Better attempt now. How it holds this move in here, the 18 average of low starting to rise, very important support, especially if it can coincide and it usually does within this previous level. And if you have a decent move, even just a 7787, then that means you can have a good large decline back to 77.40 and go back to where you came from. We'll see how this minute starts or ends. And it's with 24 seconds left. It's live that this thing could just go. It went down a little bit as we can see with this line here, not shown uh, around the 10 second mark of this or 10 seconds into this minute. It did such or 15 seconds in. It only took about five seconds for it to bounce back up higher. And with nine seconds to play, I, I'm very bullish right now. On this spot, so let's put a long position in. Uh, we'll say 77, whatever it was, right, right at this high. We'll say this close. I'm gonna want to put a stop below the 18 average of lows, somewhere around in here, maybe even a little more aggressive below this previous low in here, uh, to start this off. Of course, this is just for fun in a game setting. And we're finishing this off with another bullish, uh, strong setup going into the next minute. 18 average of lows rising steadily. 18 average of highs now starting to increase. And what you would do in advance, I mean, I'm not doing this in real life, but what you would do is you would ensure that your whatever account you're dealing with is fully loaded and that you take all your life savings, deposit it, and then you'd find the right trading platform that has about a 40, 80, 90 times leverage play. Uh, and then you just go along like this and hope like hell that you become rich so fast. That, that's what you'd want to do if you're a lunatic and you're, you're just a stupid gambler.
But if you want to put a small amount to make plays like this and you understand your risk and reward, it might be quite profitable, these types of uh, strategies. But I don't do this too often, so I want to see how this play works and then conclude the video. We've had a lot of continuation, movement sideways. 18 average of lows and 18 average of highs are really getting squeezed together really tight. The opposite in here where they're really fat. And uh, that's the part of indecision, ready for, and because of the low, and low volatility combined, which is, they usually go hand in hand. So not much more to do, but for wait for that to change. And normally in a bear market, I would say it's a, not a good play to go long after this. But all of its supporting time frames is extremely bullish right now. So you're looking for bullish opportunities. So I have to, I mean, I think playing the short game right now on the sh short term is a fool's game. I mean, unless you're, I mean, I've heard the run, uh, like an alpha trends and Brian Shannon talk about it. Unless you go for very short scalps, it's dumb to do it against the trend. But I did show you before the last short that I would have, that I accomplished. If that wasn't a short scalp, like a very short time, then I don't know what is. But very good progression here as we are at levels not seen in quite some time. It has been. About 22 minutes of my real time, and I know we're 36 minutes into this because there's been a lot of pausing, but level's not seen in a while. It's making, I'd be up right now in the game, like 38 basis points. That's almost a half a percent, or about half a percent. And it really hasn't went up much at all. I probably want to raise my stop a little bit. It's probably somewhere around here, noticeably below the 18 average of lows. And of course, lower to where it came from here. And a progressive ending to this, a pause minute, as it had this nice green candle up. 4.48%, man, it's not bad. For one minute, it's not bad, but a pause minute, only up 0.05%. But early progression of this minute is good. Now it highs not seen since uh, this in here, which uh, is 24 minutes. And the market's having a nice rise. 18 is rising a bit too, so I'm going to just barely increase this uh, stop barrier because... This would be a very big pull. I don't think it should pull back like this if it's going to be a real move. I really think it should low near 77.27 into this area here. So that's about the highest I can go. And I like how we have this trend going on here, this little upward of this rate of ascent. I think it gives it the spice that this recipe needs to give it flavor. Oh, and we're not doing a cooking episode? No, we're doing a trading one. Actually, it's, to me, it's a nice bullish setup moving forward as we finish this minute off. And continuing nicely to uh, hold in. I'm not going to change my stop area because it's going to be significantly above here. I don't want to have it anywhere at this little point in here because to me, it still is the area I think it would go to if there's a price correction. With continuation on this minute ending with pausing, going sideways... And as we open this minute, the 18 average is again becoming very tight. So I'm going to be expecting a decent size move uh, coming forward. And we're in that correctionary test right now. It continues to correct further as we finish off this minute. It dipped below the 18 average of lows. Uh, and it's closing in there, but... Uh, we see a little bit of a short-term correction for this move, or getting above here, things will be looking pretty good. But if we sustain time in here, bands flattening, it's starting to decline. And of course, increasing the chances it would be a losing long position trade. And we're finishing this minute off with nice little bullish correctionary behavior as another test of the 18 average of lows, but another close. Uh, well, look, yeah, closed at the 18 average here. And now it gaps open on the 18 lows, a very tight range as well. A nice move up. It has actually spent the last several seconds with only 28 seconds left in this minute in this range. So for about the last uh, 100 plus seconds, we've had uh, correctionary move nicely tightly within this band. We will close this minute within it. And now in turn, I'm going to raise the stop in here to noticeably below that low. So at this stage, it would pretty much be a break-even probably with break trade if I were to get stopped. And we look to be closing this minute with a good battle near the 18 average of highs 
Opening up a new one, immediately go into the lows, and it's an extremely tight range. And finishing off this one at the bottom end here, still still correcting. Finishing this minute with a nothing or a pause period. And halfway through, it's getting close. It would be a $20 loss, given that the entry point was this close here at about 77 56, but no stop has been activated yet in what is not a real trade. It is looking more likely as each waking moment passes. 18 average of highs is starting to decline. 18 average of lows is firmly flat also starting to decline as well. But it's still, as we move into the next minute, still a live play. And this minute closes with a nice green move, but getting very low in volatility, very boring, making one possibly maybe pass out for five or six seconds, which is a decent amount of time. But continuing to progress next, nicely in the next minute. And as we finish off the following one, or the next upcoming one, hanging in there was a small sell-off four seconds for four seconds, but holding in there pretty good. In the following minute, with a very good bullish setup to complete such. And this one's going to complete good. 18 average of those is going to start to rise nicely now because of the action. 18 average of highs shortly thereafter that, if it can extend its gains. And we're starting to see that right now. Level's not seen in quite some time. And in such, I'm going to raise this above noticeably below the 18 average of lows. And now we would be, cause this, this close was uh, 77.56, uh, nine basis points higher from the entry. And in fact, I want to know, even just a little bit, noticeably below where the 61.8% mark would be, and definitely noticeably below the 18 lows. But very good progression with 10 seconds to go. Well, we complete the following minute. It's a nice little pause session hanging in there, staying above the 18 average of highs. That's always nice to see, 18 average of lows starting to increase nicely, as is the highs as well. With the next following minute thereafter, that being a real low volatile pause minute. And with 20 seconds left in the next following one, prices are holding and staying above these little few minutes here. Still staying nicely above the 18 average. So uh, good, good luck right now. With the next minute, doing more of this pause action, and one of the things I was stating, even as a capitulation mode was, was starting, was this was going to take several minutes for this market to heal. Well, it has been several minutes, especially on my end. And the next minute is a little bit of a vicious red candle down move, a quarter of a percent already, which is a little bit more, but still, it's in that correctionary move, still holding and staying above this level here. And we'll give a little bit more of pause action for this one. But with 41 seconds left in the next one, I like how it's got several minutes where it's been resisting this level in coordination with this point here. Uh, seems ready to go, but it could take many, many uh, seconds too. It has so far. As we continue on to the next one, not doing too, too much, but it's hanging in there. Staying near the 18 average of highs is pretty cool. But I'm going to increase my stop level just a little bit noticeable. Uh, above the uh, below the 18 average of low. So now, of course, the profit number I would be taking would be a little bit more than it was before in a losing situation, and it looks like it might happen. As it gets very close now, we can see it's just a micro fraction away. Its real attempt to break out was right in here. And we can see that I'd be sweating this moment. Well, so far, so fine. No active trade there. There was a brief moment on the next minute when it came back down. It has since rallied a little higher. Then back down. And then it looks like the game might be over here. What's the low? 77.96.13? Not quite yet. But halfway to this minute, it sure looks close. And with 10 seconds to play in the minute, it's right above that level now. Right, close that minute, still in the game. 
And test number four, right? maybe so far so good. Well, we'll see. We're pretty much there. Not quite yet, but close. 13 seconds to play. Can we survive this one minute? Still technically, this line's is it's got 96.35. I got 95.18. So I'm a little over $1. Still in the game as we move on to a new minute which gaps a little higher, is again starting to decline. So this is the uh, fifth consecutive minute, which I am at risk of being stopped out for a microscopic gain. And so it goes. That happens. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.